Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome to my Project for Awesome video. The charity that I chose to do this year for Project for Awesome is Caps for Good, which is sponsored by the Save the Children Foundation and Warm Up America and several other really good charities that I really recommend you check out. And I'll put the links to the kit that you're going to need to download in the Chamber of Secrets. And I will also have a link to the pattern that I used and a video that might give you a little bit better detail than I can. Uh, my video is going to be a little interactive, actually. I have decided that I'm going to, we're going to work off of each other here. I'm going to teach you how to crochet, and you're going to crochet a baby hat. And when you're done, you'll have enough yarn left over to make an adult hat, and I'll show you how to do that. In addition, I will be giving away a beanie made for you, particularly, or one of these little things that I just learned how to make. It's a, it's a headband with a flower on it. I'll pick one random winner from the comments below. So make sure you comment and rate. The things you will need will be a crochet hook and some yarn. The yarn is really the most important part of it. It really doesn't matter what kind you get. This is Red Heart Super Saver. It was $2.37 US for all of this yarn. And I've used this exact same thing before to make three adult hats. You really don't have to worry about running out of yarn for your baby hat and then an adult hat. All yarn will have this. Look at your label and then scroll to this part where it has all sorts of different things you can do. Don't iron it. You can wash it. That's fine. you know. And then look for these symbols right here. And there's a crochet hook. Look at the crochet hook and see what size it calls for. Inside of the square we'll have the different size you need and this one calls for a 5.5 i9. 5.5 i9. There's two different ways to measure it. 5.5 uh, is the British way, i9 is the American way. So, yarn, hook. It's less than five dollars at Walmart. So let's get started. Step one in crochet is to always get your string on your hook. So the way you do that is to do a slip knot, wrap it around your finger, grab your tail right here, pull it through nice and tight. You'll be able to adjust the size by pulling your tail, but put your hook on here, tighten it up a little bit, and you've got your hook on your string. Okay, now the very first step in crochet is to do what we call a chain. It's very basic, it's the very foundation of crochet. So what you do is you're going to pick up your yarn, turn it, and then pull it through your chain. So now you have one chain. So to do that again, you pick it up, pull it through your loop. There's two. Pick it up again, pull it through, that's three. Feel free to stop the video and practice this as much as you need to. Okay, now we've got three chains on our hook. We're going to join these together to make a circle, because remember we're making a baby beanie. So what you do is you use your hook and work into your first stitch, that's the first one from the knot. Grab your yarn. And then do what we call a slip stitch. You just pull it through both loops. So now you should have a circle. Now we have our little round and we're going to do something that we call a half double crochet now. This is actually a pretty advanced stitch I think but it's the one that's going to build our baby hat a lot faster. It's going to be a little bit warmer for the baby. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over, pick up your yarn, and I apologize this is hard to do in a video camera. In your first hole, right here, work your way through so you'll have three loops on your hook now. Pick up your yarn again, pull it through, so now you have three, ho three loops still. Grab it and then pull it through all three loops. So there's your first half double crochet in your first stitch. We're going to do this 11 times. It's going to get pretty big. So we have one. Yarn over. Find where your hole is. 
grab it, pull it through, yarn over again, pull through, now we have two. Keep this going, yarn over, put it through, pick it up, yarn over, pull it two, that's three, yarn over, put it through, pick it up, yarn over, mm, see, sometimes you gotta let go, pull it through, that is four, might need to pull some yarn from your string, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, you have three, yarn over one more time, pull it through, that is five, yarn over, pull it through, pick it up, yarn over one more time, pull it through, that is six, yarn over, put it through, grab it, pick it up, again, pull it through, that is seven, yarn over, put it through, pick it up, grab it again, pull it through all three loops, eight, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through, nine, ten, last one. Three loops, pick up your yarn, pull it through. Eleven in your first stitch. It's a little round, it looks kind of like a baby hat. Okay, so we've got our round. The next step is going to be round two. Which is kind of funny, round two, we're duking it out. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to half double crochet, which is something that we've been doing the whole time, in between each stitch that we have here. So all that stuff we just made, we're going to make it even more fun. We're going to put two in between each stitch. So, yarn over, put it through, pick it up, yarn over, pull it through all three. One, yarn over, push it through, pull it up, grab it, pull it through. Two. Same hook for that one. Same hole. Four. Same space. Four. Next is the space in between that. You can separate it if you need to. Two here. Second one in this hole. Okay, so I'm back again at the end of our second round. Should look something like this. I've got some funky stitching going on right here, so if it looks like that, that's cool. If it doesn't, that's okay too. They're, really, the whole thing should look like this all the way around. We're going to cover it up with a puff ball. Good puff ball. Okay, so for this beginning round, we're going to do a very simple pattern. It's going to be a half double crochet, which is what we've been doing the whole time. 
in one stitch we're gonna have one and in the next stitch we're gonna do two and then we're gonna repeat again in this third stitch we're gonna have one and then the second stitch we're gonna have two the goal is to increase it and keep it looking good so yarn over into your first space I'm gonna use this right here because that's a big hole grab it and pick it up grab it and pull it through so your next one That'll be here. Yarn over. Push it in. Grab it. And pull it through. We're going to do two in this one because remember our pattern. So push it in. Pull it up. Pull it through. So in our next one, now do that all the way around, and I'll see you when you're done with that round. Look at your progress. Look how far you've gotten. That's awesome. This huge hole again is going to be covered with the puffy ball. Uh, this is going to be round four that we're going to start on, and it is just a repeat of one that you've done previously. You're going to do one half double crochet into each stitch. So find your hole. In between each stitch, I'm sorry. Pull through. So, do it again. Find your next stitch. Will be the next hole. There you go. Pull it through. Go all the way around. Um, you can put a stitch marker in here if you want to. I don't usually need one because it's usually about where your tail is. So my tail's about here, starting over about here you can usually count you know one two three starting on your fourth round if you want to you can just use a paper clip uh, hook it on to one of your loops and whenever you get back around to your paper clip you're ready to start your next round again I don't usually use one you can if you want to see you on the next round okay after round five we have this much pretty good so far. You might notice some waffling, some bending. Um, that'll just add to the baby hat. See, whenever you lay it down, it kind of cones a little bit. It's going to be a baby hat. <laughs> okay, starting on round five, you are going to do an extra half double crochet every three. So you're going to go one, one, two. One, one, two. So, go into your first hole. with one half double crochet go into your second hole with one half double crochet and then in your third hole do two back in the same hole Grab it and pull it through. Okay, and then in this next hole you're going to do one, and then the second one you're going to do one, and then the third one you're going to do two. Continue that all the way on around back to your beginning. If you put your stitch marker in, go there. Okay, this is the end of that row. See how much you've gotten so far? That's incredible. Uh, on the sixth row, whenever you start, it's going to be no increase at all. You're just going to do one stitch in one half double crochet in each hole until the end of this round. And then you're going to keep doing that until you think it's long enough. Just do one half double crochet. Here's your refresher course again. Yarn over. Push through. Pick it up. Yarn over. Pull through. And you're going to keep doing that all the way around until you think it's long enough. The pattern that I said that I'm using says to use 21, but I think this is pretty big so far, so it might not be 21 rounds. And keep in mind this is 6 rounds. Mine probably won't be 21 rounds. Um, just, I'm using a bigger fabric, bigger needle, you know, going to work out that way. So just keep going, and I'll see you whenever the hat is finished. 
Okay guys, we are finishing up our hat now. I ended up doing 17 rows if you're using the same yarn as I am. Um, 17 rows makes you a nice big cone shape. I, you notice as you kept adding one half double crochet into each stitch, it started making this nice cone shape. I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. Start off with some trusty scissors and some dip your yarn. Take your last loop, pull your yarn through that last loop. It'll make a knot. I do this a couple of times. See? And then, very easy just to snip where that was. Got a little bit of a corner, but it's something that's easily tucked in. Now, about the top. We're going to make a puff ball for this baby. Start by placing your yarn in the middle of your fingers. Three or four, whichever, depending on. And then loop it around. Loop it around about as, twice as many times as you think you're going to need for a puff ball. Should be a pretty good size. Trim your tail. And then cut off a section to use as ties. Take the string that you just cut and shove it into between your fingers. And you're trying to pull it through on one side. There you go. Okay, you got your strings on both sides. You're going to make a really tight knot. And then loop it over again. So you've got a ball. Using your scissors, shove through the middle of the ball and just snip it off. Should open up nice and good for you. You'll get left with something that looks like this. Shake off a couple of the free pieces. Now what you're going to want to do is turn it into a ball, so just start trimming. It's a good idea to have a mat down or something that you can pick up the pieces pretty easily. Because sometimes the pieces get pretty small. And it can be a little regular, it can be whatever you want it to. The closer you trim it, the more ball-like it looks. Um, I like to have just little jangly pieces. That way it's pretty cute. And then you can trim up the edges. If these are a few too big. It's cuter when it's uneven, I think. So now we have our puff ball. Take the tails of your puff ball and put pull them through the hole. You should have this easily done now. I apologize for having to switch these, but this was becoming nearly impossible. But here you go. You have your tail and you pulled it through. I only have one string because I just pulled the other one out on accident. Be careful when you do this. But you have a crazy long tail. You can pull it through a nearby circle, nearby hole. Pull it through another one. You know, just something to secure it to itself. Get it in there. And then pull it back through the big hole. Like that. And then use your tail, make a knot. Recommend doing a few knots just to make sure that it stays on pretty well. And then trim your tail. And now you have a baby hat. 
Yay! Who doesn't love babies? And who doesn't love crocheted items? I mean, this is awesome. It, the whole thing took me probably an hour and a half, including video and editing, so that's not bad. This is something great to do whenever you're taking a TV break later on tonight, watching your favorite show. Just sit down, pick up your crochet that you've been working on, and keep going. Your muscles will remember exactly what to do, and you can look at the screen and still crochet. Don't forget to comment. You have a chance to win either a crocheted beanie or a crocheted hat with a headband, flower with a headband. Headband with a flower. <laughs> um, I would. I do have. I've done a lot of beanies. I don't have an example of them because they're all currently wrapped up under the Christmas tree. But I mean, I do have skills. <laughs> If for some reason you were unable to make the beanie, I will be around all day during the Project for Awesome. Feel free to shoot me a YouTube email or a YouTube message or a comment or something. I get them delivered to my phone so I'll know. Um, and I'll be able to answer any questions that you have, direct you to some better helper videos. As for your adult hat, you have plenty of yarn for your adult hat. I will put a link to the pattern in the Chamber of Secrets for whoever is a more experienced crocheter and able to get in there and do a little bit more crocheting. And I also have a link to a video for a similar pattern. It might not be the same one. And if for some reason you'd like me to make an adult hat video, I would be glad to do that as well. It just won't be today. <laughs> as always, don't forget to be awesome. I hope you guys are having a great project for awesome. Move on to the next video. Have a good day.